Wow. I feel like pictures and video just don't do this place justice. These gardens are just so beautiful, like the amount of effort and detail that's gone into them all. We're Tom and Hannah, and together with my sister Harriet, we're travelling around New Zealand. We've been travelling and working around the north of the country, but our next place is one of the most popular tourist destinations, the Coromandel. Good morning. Good morning. I feel like it's been so long since we've actually filmed something. Filmed. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we've been staying at Riverside Accommodation in Karangahake Gorge. Doing some woofing, which is really good. It's been absolutely amazing. Now we're staying in this really lovely B&B just outside of Thames, and mm. it is so lovely. And then there's like there's so many animals. So today we've decided to come out and do a walk in the sunshine. We're actually <laughs> in the Coromandel. <laughs> so we've come to the Broken Hills, and we're doing the water race track. One of the reasons we chose this walk was because there's tons of tunnels that you can walk through. But we were just talking to someone who'd just done the walk and they said there's a chance of seeing letters, which is really exciting. There they are. Wow. There's like seven of them. Wow. Steady, go, come on. Okay, there's none on you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so <laughs> The next place we've come to is Frog Rock Swimming Hole because, let's be honest, with a name like that, you've got to go and visit it. During our time in the Coromandel, we stayed with a lovely couple on their lifestyle block, working in exchange for accommodation and food. Aside from working, we were able to explore the local town of Thames and go swimming in their private swimming hole. Next stop, Cathedral Cove. We're on our way to... <laughs> We're currently on the walk to Cathedral Cove, which is probably the most touristy destination of Coromandel. We went to Coromandel Town before yeah. this. And we got and these we found earrings, a like... shop where you pick the beads and then they make them for you. Yeah, also we got these two little semi-matching ones. I guess we're way more wet than you think it is. <laughs> I feel like pictures and video just don't do this place justice. It's really easy to see why it is one of the top spots to come to. It's just so cool. It's so beautiful! The next morning we tried to leave to head to Hamilton for a few days, but the weather had other ideas. So we were planning on leaving today to go to Hamilton, but there has been a massive landslide on the only road out of Stephen Clares, so we're currently um, just helping dig it out, hence why I've got really muddy hands. Will we make it to our accommodation in Hamilton? I honestly don't think we will. Are we gonna make it through? Oh, this is very hairy indeed. Uh, no, 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 that one don't. Okay. Have we, I think we might have made it. We're free! <laughs> We're in Hamilton, just for the day. We don't really have a lot of time in the city, so we come to the top attraction uh, that everyone has said we have to come and visit, the gardens. Hamilton Gardens is a public attraction that's free to enter. The gardens have 21 different enclosed spaces that represent various time periods and civilizations. We're currently in the English Flower Garden, and honestly, it reminds me of being back home in a National Trust property.
These gardens are just so beautiful, like the amount of effort and detail that's gone into them all. It just feels like you're actually in the country that it's representing. Like I feel like I'm, I'm in these beautiful Italian gardens. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Lie? We're currently in the herb garden and, and it, it smells, smells so nice. Incredible. The herb garden is split into four different sections. Cosmetic, culinary, potpourri and medicinal. And there's also tea. It's really got it all. It's the perfect functional garden. <laughs> We're just heading into the Mansfield Garden, which is a garden similar to the story The Garden Party, which was written by Catherine Mansfield, who is considered one of the founders of early modern literature. And it's decorated in sort of very early 20th century. I can't actually sit behind the wheel because it's too small. Here. Nice. So you have to sit like this. Yeah. And drive like this. <laughs> They've got a violin down there. I'll go down and uh, work out my skills. Did violin for about two months. I think you should. Yeah. yeah. It's gotten very, very, very rainy. This is your guy's wheelbarrow. Get to work. Come on, you're stronger than this. So we've done all of the gardens now. What was your guys' favourite? Oh. Like the Italian, the Egyptian and the Indian gardens. Me too, yeah. I think the Italian and the Indian one were like so amazing. Yeah, I think for me the Egyptian gardens was probably the best. They were all so cool. Yeah. Highly recommend coming here if you're in Hamilton or around the area. It's so beautiful and there's so much effort put into it. And it's free, which is always good. 